back to Conversations in the Community. I'm your host, Daniel Parker-Smith with parkbench.com South London Wortley. I'm also a realtor here in London with New Vista Premier Realty. Today, I'm going to be speaking with Stuart Daly. Stuart is a local Wortley resident that, out of his love for real estate investing and renovation, has opened his own development company, partnering with his wife, and they've opened up Moffat Grace Properties and Moffat Grace Design. Welcome, Stuart. Hello, thank you for having me. This is exciting. So Stuart, tell me what um, drew you and your wife to become a Wortley Village res resident. Uh, we were drawn to Wortley by uh, one, the Wortley Village, the cute little strip in the middle with the, the walkable shops and uh, the restaurants there and the, uh, the old historic homes. Uh, my wife is a big fan of the traditional yellow brick London old homes, which is, is pretty unique to, to this area of the province. Mm -hmm. Nowhere else really has that. Um, coming from Toronto, where we were for about 10 years, we pretty much could only live in, in old homes. And every neighborhood in Toronto is, is set up. Basically, Toronto is a lot of small work leaves all over the place, and it creates one big city. And when we moved here, this is the place in London that feels most similar to that. There's a few areas in London that are very walkable and just so welcoming and, and neighborly and have that great historic feel. And that's why we, we landed here. So you felt a lot at home. Uh, we, we did. And uh, so we, we felt very much uh, at, at home here. And we really enjoyed that everyone sort of lives in the, in the front of their, their homes. Uh, there's always people walking by on the sidewalks. It's great for people watching. And the neighbors uh, are just... I don't know, other than the lack of the better, that they're, they're very neighborly. Everyone's been so great in, this, in the whole area. And we've just, we felt really comfortable here. And the homes are beautiful. Yes. And so you mentioned that you love a Wortley Road and the strip with all the shops and the restaurants. What are your favorite restaurants down in Wortley Village? Oh, it, it's, it's really hard to pick a, pick a favorite because we try to frequent the, all of them as much as we can. Uh, there are some people doing great things there. Uh, and depending on the days where we want to go, uh, if for a quick lunch, we drop into Sweet Onion. Uh, if it's a Sunday morning stroll, we, we hit the Black Walnut. Uh, and then if we're looking for something um, a bit more upscale, we, we go to the Company Bar. Company Bar is probably one of our most favorite places in the city. Uh, they're doing great things. Uh, it's a great place for adults to go get a drink that's not surrounded by students. And it's hard to find <laughs> No offense to the students. No offense to the students, but uh, I'm not there anymore. And I'm right. looking for <laughs> Exactly. And, so, so, Stuart, you um, purchase and, and, and invest in, and renovate properties. When you're, when you're looking to purchase a new property to develop, what criteria are you looking for? Uh, what I'm looking for is the worst place on the best street. Uh, in a nutshell, that's exactly what we're looking for. We go to older established neighborhoods and we find that home that nobody else wants to touch. Something that is just totally awful uh, and we try to bring it back to life. Uh, the best homes that we find are typically uh, people that are moving out who've lived there for 50 years. They've kept it up, it's been maintained. It just hasn't had a chance uh, to have been updated uh, for some, in some cases, 50 plus years. Uh, and those are the best ones because the bones are so good. They've been taking great care of these old homes and we're just kind of bringing it back to life. Uh, so we look for lot size, we look for proximity to, to transit, proximity to uh, things like Wortley Village. Mm -hmm. uh, but we're not con so concerned of what's actually going on with uh, simple things like a roof. Right, right. So you and Victoria, your wife, work together and you do the development side and she does the design side. Tell me a little bit about how the two of you cohesively work together. Yeah, it, it, it's been a fun partnership to, to partner with my wife. Uh, she has a great vision uh, and, and is a phenomenal designer. And if you follow her on Instagram, uh, Moffa Grace Design, uh, you can see how she's designed a lot of the properties that we renovate and our house. Uh, so in terms of how we work together, uh, in the early stages, uh, we work very closely together uh, to develop a plan and select our property. Um, and not always having the same point of view is, is really good, uh, or else we would get stuck into the same problems. Uh, 
that one of us would go down. So she brings me uh, to different areas and, and points out things and then vice versa, I do the same thing. I typically carry a lot of uh, that load when we do, uh, more into the negotiations uh, and actually securing the property and, and dealing with the finance side of it. And then once we've secured our property, she comes in uh, and we collaborate on the, the layout uh, and then I jump into coordinating a lot of the trades and the actual work. Uh, and then part of all of that is, is she's in the background uh, with her vision, which she's already created. And she does it in a snap once we've walked into a home. And then she starts executing on um, the finishes and, and colors, materials. Mm -hmm. and she spends a lot of time uh, curating how she wants the home to feel. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. I've been in your homes. I think they're lovely. Now you've been working on your own personal residence in Wortley Village. And I was there before Christmas and we it was pretty bare and we had uh, we were flooring, I think, was being laid in the upstairs. Um, so tell us where the project's at now and when do you anticipate being completely done? <laughs> a lot of loaded question when it's going to be completely done. <laughs> I don't think it's ever going to be completely done, to be honest with you. By the time we've got it totally finished, uh, we're going to find something else to, to do. Uh, but since you've been here, we have all of our floors in, trims up, baseboard, everything. We are, um, yeah, we're, we're living in it. We've been here for a few weeks. There are still a few finishing touches to go. Uh, we got to put up a few light fixtures. Uh, we wanted to also live in the space a little bit before we figured out really how we wanted to, to lay certain things out and the, the items that we wanted, um, like fixtures, for example, like what's gonna fit great in that space? Where do we really wanna position the table? How big do we want this piece of furniture to be? That kind of stuff. But uh, all of our floors are in, uh, it's a functioning house. Uh, the kitchen's phenomenal. We are so happy to finally be in here uh, as it was a pretty long road to get here. That's great. I know it was really neat when I went in there because you've added that whole back piece onto the home. And so it's part of it's completely different than it was prior to those uh, renovations. Yeah, uh, that was a that was a big piece of it. We took the whole back of the house off and added an addition that adds about 500 square feet per floor. So that was a uh, was rather large uh, undertaking there. But it it fits perfectly into the home. We worked with uh, some great people to help us get there. And like I said, Tori's vision, Tori's design uh, of how things were gonna be laid out and where they are and, and different sight lines and materials picked. I was just the vehicle to get all of that in place. <laughs> she really did everything. That's amazing. I cannot wait to, to meet her and to be able to um, maybe highlight her design and the things that she can do for other people. So thank you so much for sharing your time with us today, Stuart. It's been a pleasure seeing you again. Hopefully we'll soon we'll be able to have that backyard drink and enjoy your home. We hope so too. Thank you very much. For <laughs> You're welcome. And thank you so much for being here today. I'm Danny Parker-Smith from parkbench.com, South London, Wortley. So until next time, please stay safe and be blessed. Oh,